decision we come to the longest. So would you please welcome the Vice President of the NUS, Amate Doku. What do we want? When do we want it? We're going to have to do much better than that. What do we want? When do we want it? Just going to pick up my speech. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. To all of those of you who have travelled far and near to be here today, who took time out of your busy lives to come to London and to make your voices heard. From the Scottish hills to the Welsh valleys, the busy Midlands to the Peak District, arriving from the proud northeast to the loud northwest, coming from picturesque Plymouth through to sunny Swansea, all parts of the UK, different walks of life here today to London, alive with possibility and hope. And your efforts here today. Your dreams of a better tomorrow are acknowledged and appreciated. Because this march is not just about how far you've travelled today, but how far we've come, together. They told us in 2017 that this was a pipe dream. That Brexit was done, get over yourselves, you lost. But we know how this goes. First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win! Yeah! And I'm here today to tell you that we can win. And a people's vote won't be delivered by the same old suspects, the old crowd. They're out of ideas and out of touch. It's only by harnessing the power of everyday citizens, by using the passion of proper punters, that we can change the future and course of the United Kingdom. And that's why I'm proud to be standing on this stage today as Deputy President of the National Union of Students, representing almost 7 million students. And I'm here today because it has become clearer and clearer over the past two years that students and young people have the most to lose from this vanity project. We know that an establishment elite are driving this country off the cliff edge in the pursuit of an imagined past. But students aren't stupid, and that's why they're rising up to make our voices heard. And what we're saying could not be clearer. Boris Johnson, hands off our futures. Jacob Rees-Mogg, go back to Downton, and Theresa May, get a grip of your party. And we're fighting for our future's sake, for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal. We don't make Britain better by making our economy weaker. We don't become a world-leading country by cutting ourselves off from our friends and democracy doesn't end with a shady backroom deal in Parliament. So, this is the challenge. We have 279 days, 279 days to save the future of students and young people in the UK. Student unions are with you. Students are with you. Young people are with you. So let's take back control from the politicians. Let's put power back into the hands of the people and let's get that people's vote. Thank you. You may have seen at the Labour Live last week a big banner, Stop Backing Brexit. It was the response from a young person's group, oh 